welcome to another episode of Boat Snoop. I'm your host, Clinton Johnson. And what we're going to bring you guys today is a Leopard 38 sailing sloop. And this specific model, she is a 2010. So, let's take a look at her. There she is. You know, these leopards, they are really, really are nice boats. You have props to the South Africans and just a really, really nice boat. And this specific one, she's nice and in just really tip top shape. All right, I'm gonna hop on over there and uh, we'll do a quick uh, walk of the decks and everything like that, take a look around, and uh, then we'll get on the inside. All right, now that we're on board, this uh, specific boat, her name is Snow Leopard. First, we'll start off and go on up forward here real nice trampoline area this is my favorite style on catamarans I just like the really nice you know trampoline in the middle I know some of them they go you know with a hard deck but I like the trampolines like a lot of uh, sailing catamarans or just catamarans in general of this type they have huge storage lockers big old tanks this typical normal has the windlass electric windlass anchor Tons more storage, tanks. Oh, look at that chain, guys. Beautiful, shiny, new. So is what I like to see. Along with all the running rigging, you know, there's notice how how nice and pretty much new the running rigging is. Which, for those of you who are not sail sailors, uh, running rigging is just the lines or what some people will call ropes. But the sailboat. There are no ropes, there are only lines. Well, that's not true. There is a bolt rope in the front of a mainsail on some mainsails on some sailboats. That is the only technical, technically, the only rope to be found on a sailboat is the bolt rope that runs up that you can slide in when you're taking this up. Something really nice, I'm gonna get on, on top here and I'm gonna show you something that's really nice on this boat. But to start off with uh, these stack packs here, where they completely enclose the mainsail, all zippered up. Are really nice. But these don't have slugs. Um, this actually runs up on a rail. And they're definitely spendy to put on, but when you drop your sails, they just slide right on down and they don't get hung up. A really nice feature uh, that this boat has. Additionally, since we're already up here, we might as well take a look. She does have some solar as well to complement everything. All right, we're gonna work our way back to the helm station here. I like these helm stations when they're really, when they really sit up high. Um, they give you a nice view. I'm gonna come sit down here on this one. And I'm 5'11", 
and you know if I when I'm looking above me um, I'm thinking I could easily probably be six three six four and still be fine All right, here we have our autopilot compass wind direction speed depth and then we have a really nice Simrad touchscreen GPS plotter. You can see here we got uh, Yan Mars. The, this this boat has Yan Mars on her. Right here, you can work all of the running rigging right from here, which is really nice. You don't have to be running all around somewhere else. You got a couple of self-tailing winches here, just right here at the helm station. Real nice for uh, maybe a couple or uh, you know sailing. You don't need a whole ton of crew running around, uh, particularly. And now we'll come on around and take a look. Really large table with seating and everything for everybody to lounge and just really enjoy themselves. Here on the aft deck. Really nice and strong. I was going to point this out earlier. Dinghy Davit system on this boat. I mean, this is not by no means, just, I mean, it's very, very thick, very, very solid. And finally, back here, just coming. Give a peek at the uh, propane locker. And then we're gonna come on over here and I'll show you all these batteries. Um, that's where they store the batteries back here. And give me one second and I'll get that open for you so we can take a look. Look at that guys. It's right back here. Nice access, covered really large batteries lots of power these are actually pretty new that one's December 20 and the other two are the end of 2019 but you know sometimes on a lot of boats getting into your batteries is a real hassle not with this boat but uh, let's put this down and we'll get on the inside because I know that's what you're all waiting for and we'll take a look around hey guys this channel is sponsored by Tupperware rep Sailor Jen Tupperware truly is the ultimate galleyware for your boat, and it comes with a great warranty to boot. They are the ultimate source of high-quality, lightweight, low-rattle utensils, dishes, and cups for your boat or home. Furthermore, their unbeatable food storage containers are the only food storage devices approved for use by the U.S. military when they move military households. Don't have heavy and noisy galleyware on your boat. And go high quality when trying to keep pesky bugs and moisture out of your food, especially on your boat. Go to SailorJen.com today, check out all of their offerings, and order up your new galleyware today. Email any questions to Tupperware at SailorJen.com. Thank you, and remember that your order helps out this channel. All right, we're going to get on in here and take a look. It's another warm and humid Florida day, so coming in here where the air conditioning is, it feels really great. You got your galley. You know what's nice about galleys like this? You can actually get in the middle, and if you're rocking and rolling, you actually you're not going to get thrown all over the place. You have your normal propane force 10 stove and oven. Nice deep sink. Storage. If you watch some of my other videos, you'll know that I love it when the 
they add these little trash receptacles. Really nice. There's a door there that you can open to access it. Just go get your go get your trash can. I love those. This specific boat show you that freezer and refrigerator. Show you the electrical panels, radio, and all of that first. It has these really large, really large freezer. And really large refrigerator. Really nice. Lots of storage. Just notice the woodwork on here. This specific boat, you know, you're not seeing a lot of scratches or anything like that. Um, these tables are an upgrade that was done after. They're beautiful. Um, a lot of them basically came standard with a big long table, but the problem is if you're sitting in the back, you can't get out. These tables like this allow um, plenty of room for people to put their plates or whatever they're working on, but you can still get out if you're stuck over on the other side without everybody having to get up. This boat has new wood floors that have been installed. See, there's no scratches or anything. Really nice. We'll head on down over to uh, the starboard side. And both these sides, starboard and port sides, are uh, two staterooms each, one head. And they're effectively just mirror images. But I will walk you through so you can you can you can see. So plenty of storage. This is the aft starboard cabin. Plenty of storage. Big and roomy for two people. Pretty good size hanging locker. Quite a bit more storage down below. We'll head into the head here. We have our sink. We have a good, good size walk-in shower. In fact, we will just walk in here. Then we'll turn around, get a little bit better feel for the head. You got your marine toilet. And got a hatch for good ventilation. Now up here, this is a starboard forward stateroom. You could have a couple people sleep right here, but additionally, I really think you could probably squeeze another person up there. It is, it might be hard to tell with the video, but maybe not a six foot guy, but maybe someone who's five, two, five, four kids. So you really could probably sleep three people in here or just a lot of storage for people's luggage. If you had guests on board, more storage up on there. There is storage behind the door here. Like in the other one, real deep. Storage there. Same thing here on the outboard. And even a good size hanging locker. And these four V berths. Like I said, the port side is going to be a lot, of, lot, lot the same, but we are just going to pop over there really quickly. Boat does have additional storage up here in the salon. A lot of safety equipment, first aid. There are large amounts of storage underneath these seats. You do have like an AC unit under one, but I'll just kind of give a feel for how much storage is under some of these seats here in the salon. And the AC <laughs> feels so good. Here on the port side, we've got the same same sort of setup. 
just like a mirror image. Really nice view out that window on these view bars. So again, same sort of thing, storage locker, or closet, hanging closet. This boat, this boat on both sides has these uh, manual bilge pumps. These are standard on the Leopards, and I forgot to get that on the starboard side, but you would just pop those off, put a lever, and you could sit there if you had water and your electric bilge pumps failed. You have manual ones on both sides. Same exact thing here in the port aft stateroom. And once again, another large hanging locker. Give you another peek real quick. Here in this head, it's the same exact thing. You got your shower. And you have your toilet. Well, this is going to conclude this episode of Boat Snoop. Um, hey, I thank you guys once again for your time. I hope you uh, enjoyed taking a look at this uh, Leopard 38 sailing catamaran. And don't forget to smash that like button. Like I always say, it really helps the channel. And so you can get further episodes in the future. And because it also helps the channel, and smash that uh, subscribe button as well. I'll catch you next time.